Hey guys, my name is Sarah. And I'm Jenny. And we're here to discuss sodium bicarbonate supplementation in athletes. You got to go work out or something? Yeah. I'm gonna run around the complex. Okay. What was, was once, what was that uh, stuff that you took? That milky looking stuff. You made a face, I don't know. Uh, it's baking soda. Baking yeah. soda? Yeah. Why do you drink baking Do you have heartburn or something? No, no, it's not. No, it's for my workout. Yeah. Oh, what is it? What do you uh, well, I read in my fitness magazine that if I take this stuff, they called it something else I cannot remember. So it, I found out on the internet. Sodium bicarbonate. Soda. Baking soda. Okay, yeah, same thing. Oh, you're Sodium right. bicarbonate. What it's called. So yeah, it said that if I drink it, it will last, make my workout last longer. Okay. So I thought I would just you know, give it a go. Isn't stuff like that like for professionals? The GNC um, supplementation. Yeah, the article stuff? said it was. I mean, mostly professionals who supplement with it, not like hot. Just mostly like really intense workouts, I guess. But I figure since I only work out once a week, that I really need that workout to count. And so I just thought, let's just do it. It's just baking soda, you know. Okay. And it, I mean, it's quite a bit. I had to eat, like the whole glass. I mean. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Well, yeah. So. Good luck. Well, thanks. Let uh, me know. Do you want to go? Oh, no. I'm soda? good. I got to do my homework for sports nutrition. It's a pretty busy class. Okay. So. All right. Well, I'm going to finish stretching. I'll see you later. All right. All right. Bye. All right. Bye, Sarah. Fact or fiction? Hello, curious YouTubers out there in cyberspace. Have you ever wanted to run faster or jump higher? Well, who doesn't? And here to discuss sodium bicarbonate supplementation, so we all know what the heck it is, is expert scientist Sarah Rakowski. Oh, would you look at that, Jenny? Wow. It's just fizzing all over the place. Oh, science oh. is so interesting. Yes, isn't it? Oh, oh, sorry. Well, hello out there, YouTubers. I'm speaking directly to you who want to form an opinion on sodium bicarbonate supplementation, better known in the home as baking soda. Now, with strenuous resistance exercises such as rowing or leg squats, the body places an increased demand on anaerobic glycolysis to supply energy. That means no oxygen is required. Now, anaerobic glycolysis is quick acting, short duration energy, which leads to an accumulation of hydrogen, which causes a slight decrease in your body's pH. <laughs> A high concentration of hydrogen affects the processes that affect force production and muscle contractions, which means it contributes to fatigue. The theory behind sodium bicarbonate supplementation is that by ingesting before exercise, it creates an alkaline environment to anticipate the efflux of hydrogen coming out of your cells and it neutralizes the pH levels, thus decreases the onset of fatigue. Now while it sounds like it may work, here are some things to consider. Many studies showing positive effects of sodium bicarbonate supplementation have low participant groups, many less than 20 participants. Enhanced exercise performance during later bouts of exercise is a common trend. For example, during 2,000 meters of rowing, differences between sodium bicarbonate supplementation and placebo were only seen in the final 1,000 meters. Enhanced performance was seen in resistance exercise versus endurance exercise. A typical dose, which is 0.2 to 0.4 grams of sodium bicarbonate per kilogram of body mass, provides about 5,400 milligrams of sodium. That's more than twice the recommended dietary allowance. May benefit more from a split dose may benefit recreational exercisers more than a well-trained athlete. Possible side effects include nausea, vomiting, lightheadedness, gas, and may blunt the hormonal response of exercise, growth hormone, and cortisol, possibly decreasing these stimulants for muscle growth. 
Okay, so now you guys know the information we found about sodium bicarbonate supplementation, and we're just going to tell you what we think. So, Sarah, what do you think? Well, based on the research that I found, it pretty much looks like they need to do more studies. Mm -hmm. It looks a lot of them are inconclusive, or the evidence is not statistically significant to prove that it has an effect, even though sometimes they may have longer endurance or a better performance in that amount of time. What do right. you think? Well, and I guess it was 38% found that there was um, a good enough effect size, but is that really high? And also most of them found that it was not professional athletes who had the most effect from it. It was recreational athletes. Yep. But with that effect on a recreational athlete, are they willing to take that much sodium in? Because that's really a high amount for somebody who may not actually be sweating it out. So I would say um, you know, on an individual basis, if you feel like, you know, your coaches are recommending it and you want to try some a little at a time or whatever and see if it helps your performance, it's probably not going to hurt you, but still inconclusive as far as the research. So, yes, I would say for people to do their own research and they didn't talk about the sodium much in what we read. So no, and that, that needs to be included, to I would assume more and yeah. just larger studies and larger sample sizes and better controlled experiments yep. to see what, what really happens. What well, comes of it. So that's it for sodium bicarbonate supplementation. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. This film was brought to you by Ginny Villado as Ginny Villado and Sarah Rakowski as Sarah Rakowski. Thanks for watching.